Ugh. Man, I need some coffee. Right, so today guys, my name is Bear, welcome to my channel. I'd like to speak to you about Linux. And um, as a lot of my viewers would know, I have been using Manjaro for uh, nearly a year now. Uh, we coming up to 11 months, I believe, that I've been using Manjaro pretty much full time. Um, before that, I was on Elementary and Pop OS. But um, Manjaro was one of those sort of ARC based Linux distributions that people, some, some people recommended, others not so much. Um, it had some pros and cons and you know it it was sort of touted as an arc based linux distribution that is very stable easy to use especially the kde version you know transitioning from something like windows um over to a kde based system you know is quite familiar so it's easy easy enough to do however um I am a technical user, let me make that clear. Uh, I don't have trouble, you know, fiddling with code or, or stuff like that. I'm not a programmer, but, but you know, I can get around the terminal and editing files and um, reading some code. So um, I wanted to do an experiment with Manjaro to see whether Manjaro would be applicable to uh, a non-technical user coming over from Windows for, for gaming as well, not just uh, workflow, but for gaming. And for the most part, it was fairly doable. You didn't have to use the terminal much. And the few things you had to do, you know, was easy enough. It was copying and pasting commands, really. But at the end of the day, I, I sort of had a deeper understanding of what those commands would do. So maybe someone less technical would have been less inclined to, to use the terminal for those things. But I digress. The last couple of months, though, I must say... Um, no, <laughs> I've done a video already explaining why um, I'm no longer recommending Manjaro for, for new users. And um, I see Nick from the Linux experiment has actually put up a video as well about Manjaro. And everything that he complained about in his video, I was like, I was sitting there like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Wow. Um, I had I had similar issues. And a lot of people commented on my video as well, saying that they also had similar issues. But in particular... The AUR. I think the fact that Ninjaro holds packages back for a week or two does cause issues with the AUR because a lot of the users on the AUR are running ARC and they are, you know, having, they always have the latest and greatest of everything available. So when they publish a package with dependencies, oftentimes those dependencies would be <clears throat> up to, up to date as well. And if you're on Ninjaro, you know, those dependencies might have been held back for a week or two, and that caused quite a number of significant issues. There was also a case where Manjaro had a kernel, I believe it was 5.16, dash something something, whatever, whatever um, that just all of a sudden got depreciated, so there was no NVIDIA um, header files or anything for, for that kernel just all of a sudden after an update, and that really messed me up. Um, I don't think a non-technical user would have been able to fix that. Um, and I t that was before I even changed which kernel was running. Keep that in mind. I didn't move the default kernel. So that was just sort of the kernel that the system decided on. Um, and just all of a sudden it was depreciated. So um, I finally managed to figure out that those header files were missing. And I booted into the LTS kernel, which ended up fixing my problem. But yeah. So, so that's it. So that being said, I have a post on my community tab on my channel. Please go and have a look. It's a poll. Um, I've only put a limited number of options on there. I need some help choosing between uh, Garuda Linux and Endeavor OS or just Vanilla Arc. Um, me personally, I can tell you now, I'm already biased against Garuda Linux uh, or Garuda OS, um, the Dragonized Gaming Edition, because I do game. And, uh, you know, if it comes with some, some of the stuff pre-installed, why not? I mean, honestly. Um, so, so that is me. But, but a lot of people are, have been commenting on my videos and, and other places that Endeavor OS is actually the one to go for. So I have looked at some, you know, other videos comparing the two. And Endeavor OS seems to be a little bit faster with, with in, in terms of, like, system resources and so on. Um, so maybe, maybe, I don't know if that would be worth the extra setup that I would need to do over the, the Dragonized Gaming Edition, um, to get all the gaming stuff set up. 
I'm not sure but do leave a comment below or go check out my poll and do go vote there leave a comment if you want maybe I'll even start adding some other options although you know we shouldn't really add options after the poll has started but hey let me know in the comments below that would be great please leave a like on this video and go check out some of my other videos if you are a Guild Wars 2 player please check out my video on that you can easily get Guild Wars 2 to run on Linux via Steam even if you still want to use your old arena account so please go and check that out I will leave it in the description below as well as probably a, a card up top um, the other exciting thing that I want to say about my channel is that recently the advanced features got activated as you can probably see um, I do have a low subscriber count but the advanced features is activated finally so please help me uh, get up to 500 subscribers I would be ecstatic about that so do share this video like comment uh, so that the algorithm can pick it up and run with it hopefully and um, yeah that's about it guys that's it from me so have a good one. See you in the next video, I guess. Cheers.